As anticipation builds for King Charles and Camilla's official visit to Australia at the end of the month, the upcoming visit has been shrouded in controversy, particularly due to the refusal of several prominent Australian politicians to attend events and engage with the royals. Reports have emerged indicating that key political figures are rejecting the opportunity to meet the royal couple, signalling a shift in the relationship between Australia and the monarchy. Among those who have publicly turned down invitations is Craig Foster, a former footballer and current advocate for social justice, whose stance resonates with a growing number of Australians questioning the relevance of the monarchy. Foster's refusal to attend the royal event is significant, representing more than just a personal choice. It reflects a broader sentiment among politicians and citizens alike. His decision has been met with mixed reactions, with some praising him for standing up for modern values while others see it as a disrespectful snub to a centuries-old institution. The refusal of Australian politicians to engage with King Charles and Camilla has been described as a slap in the face to the monarchy. This sentiment is echoed by various Republican groups organising protests ahead of the visit, indicating a growing discontent with the royal institution and its perceived relevance in Australian society, as the royal couple prepares for their tour, which is set to commence with a series of events aimed at community engagement. The absence of key political figures raises questions about the impact of their initiatives. Will their efforts resonate with the public despite this political backdrop? Or will the lack of political support overshadow their intentions? Victoria State Premier Jinta Allen's decision to decline the royal couple's welcome further emphasises the divide between the monarchy and certain segments of Australian society. A spokesperson for the pro-royal Australian Monarchist League called this development a monumental insult, showcasing the high stakes involved and the emotional weight of such refusals. The growing sentiment that the royal family is outdated is particularly pronounced among younger generations. Many young Australians are beginning to question the relevance of the monarchy, reflecting a shift in attitudes towards hereditary institutions that may not align with their values or aspirations for a more egalitarian society. This scepticism towards the monarchy is not confined to Australia. It resonates across the Commonwealth. Countries like Canada and New Zealand are also reconsidering their ties to the British royal family. The desire for independence from having the monarch as the head of state is gaining traction, suggesting a potential shift in governance for several nations. The historical ties between the royal family and Australia, long a source of national pride for some, are now being scrutinised. The current political climate indicates a growing desire for a more modern approach to governance, one that reflects the values and aspirations of contemporary Australians rather than the traditions of a distant monarchy. Critics of the monarchy argue that it symbolises an outdated institution that does not resonate with modern democratic values. For many, the royal family represents privilege and hereditary power, concepts that seem at odds with the principles of equality and meritocracy that are increasingly valued in Australian society. The organised protests by Republican groups ahead of the royal visit serve as a clear indication of the discontent brewing within segments of Australian society. These demonstrations are not merely about the royal couple's presence. They symbolise a broader movement towards re-evaluating the monarchy's role and relevance in a modern democracy. As King Charles and Camilla prepare for their tour, the absence of key political figures raises questions about the effectiveness of their outreach efforts. Without the support of influential politicians, the royal couple may struggle to connect with the Australian public in a meaningful way, potentially undermining their goals for the visit. The decision of politicians to reject invitations to meet the royals reflects a growing trend of disengagement from the monarchy. This trend is indicative of a larger cultural shift where traditional institutions are being scrutinised and challenged by a new generation of leaders who prioritise democratic values over royal lineage. Public sentiment towards the monarchy is increasingly polarised with some Australians expressing strong support for the royal family while others advocate for a break from tradition. 
This division highlights the complexities of national identity and the ongoing debate about the future of the monarchy in Australia. The royal visit intended to foster goodwill and strengthen ties may instead serve to highlight the fractures within Australian society regarding the monarchy. King Charles and Camilla may find that their efforts to engage with the public are met with scepticism and resistance complicating their mission. The implications of this political rejection extend beyond the immediate context of the royal visit as they signal a potential shift in how future royal engagements are received in Australia as the monarchy grapples with changing public attitudes and expectations. If the royal family cannot adapt, it risks becoming increasingly irrelevant as the royal couple embarks on their tour. They will likely face scrutiny not only from the media but also from the public who are increasingly vocal about their opinions on the monarchy. This heightened awareness may influence how the royals approach their engagements, potentially forcing them to be more attuned to the sentiments of the Australian people. The ongoing discussions about the monarchy's relevance in Australia are reflective of a broader global trend where traditional institutions are being challenged by modern values and expectations. This context adds layers of complexity to King Charles and Camilla's visit as they navigate a landscape marked by scepticism and calls for change. In conclusion, the decision of Australian politicians to decline invitations to meet King Charles and Camilla underscores a significant moment in the relationship between Australia and the monarchy. It reflects a growing sentiment that the royal family may no longer hold the same relevance in contemporary society, particularly among younger generations, something that both Harry and Meghan are championing as we speak. As King Charles and Camilla prepare for their visit, they must navigate a landscape marked by political tension and public scepticism. The outcome of their tour will likely have lasting implications for the monarchy's standing in Australia, as well as its relationship with the Commonwealth as a whole. The royal couple's ability to engage meaningfully with the Australian public will be crucial in determining their legacy and the future of the monarchy in this vibrant, evolving nation.